Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining in me for another video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I have uh, recently completed a um, set of figures from 2002-2003. It's the Geonosis, Geonosis War Room. Um, this is something I've been wanting to complete for a long time. Um, it's just been like, you know, one of those sets that has evaded me for a long time. Um, you know, just haven't found it for the right price, haven't wanted to buy it at the time. Um, but I finally got that set together, so I'm pretty excited to share it. Um, I've, it's probably been a couple of months since I completed it, but uh, finally I just wanted to do a little showcase on the figures and characters that are included. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so here is the Geonosian War Room. Um, this was split into two packs. Um, I can't remember which figures came with which. <laughs> um, but basically you came with half the table. Um, they got the little, little sort of holograms. It's cool, I did actually at one point put a little light underneath it so it, um, it glowed a little bit and that looked really effective. So I will uh, definitely like to do that again at some point. But I thought we'd take a look at each figure um, one by one, just, just quickly. And uh, yes, she doesn't want to stand up very well. I do keep them all blue tacked on the shelf, but uh, yeah, some interesting characters, and uh, I feel like the separatists get uh, disregarded a lot. So let me go through these. We'll start off. We've got a uh, Pascal Argente. I'm going to say uh, he was the mag he was the uh, magistrate of the corporate alliance. Um, this figure was released a couple of times in different colours, but um, I think they may have even retconned that so there were different characters, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But definitely an interesting looking, looking character. Very cool. So I think that one got a single release as well. So next we'll take a look at Sandhill. So he was the chairman of the Intergalactic Banking Clan. Uh, so he was immune. Hey Sandhill, why the long face? <laughs> um, yeah, he's the same species as Darth Plagueis. Um, just nowhere near as tall as Plagueis. I always expected the moons to be a little bit taller. You know, sort of towering over them, but uh you know, limited articulation. But that's fine, it's just a display. But yeah, you've got to have all the members. Next I'm gonna take a look at a single pack figure. This is Watt Tambor. He was the uh, foreman of the Techno Union. And here he is adjusting his little voice projector machine. Sounds like he's tuning a radio. We did have another one of these aliens released in the Clone Wars line, Carl Tesca. He was a much bigger, much bigger alien, but he also was wearing a big suit, so. Uh, Watt Tambor here, he did make an appearance in Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Pretty sure that was him. If my memory serves me correctly. But yeah, he's a, he's a cool looking alien. I do like him a lot. And uh, yeah, like I said, he was a single packed figure. He came with this little stand with another little hologram. Which you could probably put down there on the uh, big table as well, but not super necessary. So this one, next character is Shumai. She is a uh, president of the Commerce Guild. Definitely a uh, interesting looking alien 
odd feet <laughs> quite unbalanced yeah she definitely needs a stand this one but uh, yeah I, li I like the w weird and wacky aliens of Star Wars so, so that's a cool she's a cool addition and we have Archduke Poggle the Lesser um, I'm pretty sure there is a slightly more updated version of this figure that probably looks a little bit better um, but yeah I have not had Poggle the Lesser for as long as the, a figure of him has been out and I finally got one so I'm really excited to have this guy he's a cool looking alien um, he's got his walking stick his face I love the sounds he makes I wish I could do I wish I could replicate that myself there's translucent wings pretty sure they do move, move up and down a little bit but um you don't see him flying in the film at all so he's cool I like him a lot of course we've got Newt Gunray off the Trade Federation uh, this one is a repaint of the Phantom Menace one. So basically just slightly different coloured robes. Pretty sure that's the main difference. Um, may have been a new one actually because uh, I think the headdress is different. But uh, yeah, it's I actually haven't gone to the effort of uh, comparing the two side by side so... Could be wrong, could be right. <laughs> but yeah, he was part of one of the uh, packs here. We have Senator Ponudo. Uh, he was a senator for his own species, the Aqualish. But he uh, sided with the Confederacy of Independent Systems. And, uh, yeah, join the Separatist Council. But I really like the head sculpt on this guy. He looks fantastic. I love his four eyes. He's, you know, looks like a spider. But, uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was seen in The Phantom Menace. And Attack of the Clones and... Maybe Revenge of the Sith, I can't really remember. If he did, he would have made, met, met his end on Mustafar as well. So lastly, we have this version of Dooku, who for the most part is just a static figure. The purpose of him of him is to display holding the uh, hologram of the Death Star. So it's not the kind of Count Dooku figure you'd want to have trying to fight in a lightsaber battle um yeah it was back in the day when they made very scene specific versions of characters which i actually like i uh it is nice to sort of fill these scenes rather than having to buy the same figure you know for four or five times um for each display it's cool to have different versions of the character like i probably have four or five count dooku's uh, each for each different scene um, works really well. And that, yeah, that is removable. Yeah, very cool figure. I really like this a lot. Um, yeah, this is a great set. I uh, I've recently been going and trying to complete my Attack of the Clones characters and I'm not too far off of uh, completing the sort of 2002-2003 Attack of the Clones line of figures. I'm not missing too many now which is great. But yeah I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this set. It's nice to give the Seppies a bit of love even though they're the bad guys kind of from a certain point of view. <laughs> um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
All right, stay tuned for some more videos. I'll be back very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.